In this video, we're going to install Windows XP in VirtualBox running on a Mac. First, we're going to create a CD image of our Windows XP installer disk. Insert your disk, open up Disk Utility, select the CD file system, go to File, New, Disk Image From, and for the type, we want to select DVD CD Master. Now let's move that file from where it was created to where we keep our VirtualBox VMs. Now let's open up VirtualBox. And we'll create a new VM. I'll combine X Windows XP2 because I've already previously created one in Windows XP. Uh, we'll give this uh, 512 megabytes to start out with. And we will create a virtual hard drive now. That's fine. Uh, dynamically allocated is fine. And we're going to size this at 20 gigs. Next, we need to configure this virtual machine to use the CD image that we just created. Click on Settings. Storage, we'll add a new attachment, add CD DVD device, choose the disk, and we'll select the image that we had just created. Now boot up the virtual machine. And from here, it's the typical Windows install process. After each major change to one of my virtual machines, I like to make a backup copy of the state that I'm currently at. Right click on the folder and compress. Let's give that file a better name. So that's it for the fresh install. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at starting the update sequence to get Windows uh, patched with all the security updates and service packs.